Hello everyone, Sons and Duck 2, and welcome to another data pack overview, this time on item name indicator. A data pack simply adds in the ability for you to use a command to open some settings and then enable or disable the actual item name above, I'm pretty sure. Um, now I don't know if you need to name them, I'm pretty sure it's just going to display an item name above them either way, uh, but we'll find out. So. As you can see, some item names above them, and you've got the menu like so. To access the menu, you simply want to use the following command, which is function item name config, and we have access to our menu here. So, yeah, so if we just go and, for example, just drop a bunch of these on the ground, I don't think it'll show anything. Nope, so the button clue wasn't gonna make any difference, but I'll rename it to be a written book. Just pick up our stuff now, and uh, yeah. So we just go to enable. It's now enabled. Go to banner pattern. It's not going to tell us anything, um, which is now south. So if we actually go to rename, and we just say name it in here, we'll just go banner pattern snout. We'll just go that. Uh, nothing there. So that's on enable and disabled. Let's see. Alright, so we write our book, or we'll just say written book test, because it doesn't actually matter what the name is. We'll just go written, I can spell, written book. There we go. And not much there either until we select something. So let's see, we'll go written book. And we'll drop that, and nothing's happening. Alright, so what am I missing? Okay, let's see. You do that, you turn them on or off, that's fine. The current state of the setting will be represented as bold text. The image above tells you that all settings are disabled. Um, won't affect existing item entities, because it's not going to be resources, it's just doing that. Um, Maybe I do need a name tag. I might actually need a name tag surprising or I don't know. Um, we'll just go I don't know, custom name, for example. I'll just say throw these on the ground. I don't know if I can do that. I can't with item entities, it seems. We'll just go custom name. We'll do this. Can't do that either. Alright. I'm gonna have to check the video then, because I'm clearly missing something. The sound come on. There we go. Right, so what am I missing? This big one's real. Okay, until you pick it up again. Alright. Oh so for ones that are already in the world. Interesting. Okay. So can we just chuck a bunch of these in? It might be that one, I guess? If there's already existing ones in the world? I'd assume? So, we do that, and then we do this, this... Oh, okay. So you don't have to rename them, it's just... That's the case. Interesting. Um, alright, so we'll just throw these along. Okay, so that's picked up on that as well. Interesting. So, okay, so that works because it's been renamed. That also works because it's been renamed, and that's just allowing it to display that. Interesting. So, if we do this and just go written book one, we'll go here. Uh, my guess is because they're custom names, so that's why. Music disc seems to work, the others are not too sure. So, custom names definitely work. That's for some reason not changed. Alright, so we'll just throw this down now, that down now, and that's fine. So every time something is dropped, it'll pretty much display its name, I assume is the intention here. So we'll enable everything for right now, and we'll see what happens when dropping them. So if we go written book one, it's now got its name, we've got the lingering potion. Flash potion and more, and my guess is they're not showing them because they don't have a custom name, even though the actual music disc seems to work. So everything else that I've got a custom name for seems to work. 
And for some reason the others aren't. So if I actually happen to rename all these to just fire error resistance one. Uh, error fire resistance one, sorry, which has a custom name now, it'll display that. Okay. So custom names seem to work. I'm not too sure why I can't get the others to work the same as the music disc. Um, unless it's because it's sitting with the tooltip part, so if I, yeah, which is why the custom name part works so well. Even though jump boost should probably display here, but for some reason it doesn't. It's not just the effect, so no, it's supposed to be item. Alright, find out more. Um, let's see. There's a few things you can do. Yes, okay, you can enable. Feel such and such and according to, we can reduce them. So you find the title and the composer. Okay. Player's heads name. And those just show you the following there. Alright. Books uh, display no title. Such and such. Alright. And a bunch of potions and splash potions showing things. Um, text formatting. Something like longer than normal. My consideration as well. And that is it apparently. Okay. Interesting. So either I'm missing something or it's just maybe not displaying for me. But I would say it's probably best to go with any custom names if you want. So if you wanted, say, a custom player head name, unless it's actually someone else's name in the case of say mine, where we go to data pack enable, we go player head drops, and I think I've got keep inventory enabled, I think. Uh, it's not going to show me for some reason, so we'll just go true. And we'll just go there, and we'll just pick up my head. It seems to be, whoops, can I drop it now? It's not going to display my name on the head. Interesting. So can I change that to, I don't know, can you just go in between there? There we go. So now to display it. Okay. Interesting. So I'd say probably rename a few things just in case, but for the most part, my guess is it's supposed to work normally, but you don't have to have them renamed. Um, but in the case of, say, certain other things, um, like a diamond sword in that case you would need a custom item name because obviously they're not in the listings here um but yeah other than that if you want to have things that are named and you want to say find them in the world or so say you dropped it because you obviously took damage like i did trying to get my head then uh yeah you can obviously find out um where something was left i guess or just sort of have it presented some way. Now I don't know if this will also work in item frames as well, I guess. Um if we were to try. So we've got a custom name on there. Don't know why I've got that. It was after the spawn and such. No, so they're not gonna display it. But obviously they just displayed in item frames anyways without the data packs, so that's fine. But uh anyways. Thanks so much for watching and goodbye.